The Account Transactions Report helps you understand what's happening in your business. Customize it to help you review transactions and get the information you need. Go to Accounting and Reports. Then select Account Transactions. Start by choosing the accounts you want to look at. Exclude any archived accounts you don't want to see. Select the accounts you want, or click Select All to show everything. Next, choose the dates you need, and click Update. Now let's add and review columns to show the information how you want. Add a column for the related accounts to show the other side of each transaction. It helps you quickly spot mistakes. Here, something doesn't look right. There's a payment to an insurance company, but it's been coded to advertising. Open it in a new tab to take a closer look. Click Options, and then Edit Transaction to quickly fix it. Back on the Account Transactions report, click Update to refresh the report. Now let's reorder the columns. Simply drag the common headings to change their position. The report shows accounts in alphabetical order by default, but you can change this. Select Account Code and Name to list them in account code order and show the name. Show only the accounts with transactions in the selected period or ones with either transactions or non-zero balances. Or show all your selected accounts, including the ones with zero balances. You can now see the balance on the savings account, although there aren't any transactions in the period. If you know what you're looking for, use the filter to narrow things down and save time. For example, Show only the transactions assigned to a particular tracking option or ones using a specific tax rate. You can apply multiple filters at once. Let's say you want to look at expense transactions over $1,000 for one of your contacts, Truxton Property Management. Apply a filter on Gross to show transactions over $1,000. Apply a second filter on Account Type to show only expenses. And use the Description filter to narrow it down further. Type part of a contact name in the description, apply those filters, and update. To remove any filters, just click the X, then Update. Let's click More for some additional settings. For example, run the report on an accrual or cash basis, show or hide opening balances based on the type of account, and show or hide decimals. Once you're happy, save it as a custom report to keep your settings for next time and save yourself time. Click Save As, then Custom. Give the report a name. You can make it the default report if you like. And Save. Find Custom Reports in the Custom tab. If you've made a custom report the default, but want to go back to using the standard zero report, click the menu icon and select Remove Default. This is also where you can export your custom reports or delete the ones you don't need anymore. Click the star to mark your report as a favorite so it's even quicker to run next time. To learn more about the Account Transactions Report, visit Zero Central.